Hi guys, it's ASBYT and welcome back to a brand new video. Now of course, the OnePlus Bullets wireless headphones went on sale in June 2018, so it's been about eight months. And in today's video review, I'm gonna be going over whether I think after all that time, there's still a good buy now. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Right, so first of all, we're in a bit of a different location. I thought, you know what? I'm getting a little bit bored with my setup, so I thought I would experiment. And over the next few months, I am going to be experimenting with my studio space just to keep you on your toes. But enough of that. You're here for the Bullets Wireless Headphone Review. As most of the latest smartphones are now coming without a headphone jack, wireless or Bluetooth headphones and earphones are becoming more and more necessary and more and more popular as a result. So, like I said, eight months, June they were released last year, and it's now February. So you want to know, are they a good buy right now? So first I'm going to talk you through what you actually get in the box and then I'm going to put them on so you can see exactly how they look. Go through the pros and cons of the sound quality and the fit, etc. You gonna give me something new, oh yeah. You may even get a bit of singing as well. Ah. Right, so when you actually open up the box, you are greeted with the never settle text there and inside that's just fallen everywhere. You have different earbuds that you can actually choose between for different fits because obviously everyone's got different sized ears, if you didn't know that already. You've also got the travel case, which we'll get to. And on the right hand side, we would have the headphones in here, but obviously I've taken them out to use. Very much packaged like the OnePlus phones, which I have a box for here. That's the OnePlus 6T, as you can see. So very similar, red and white, a very reoccurring theme through OnePlus products. Right, so here are the actual headphones or earphones or earbuds, whatever you want to call them. And they are of course Bluetooth. They're technically wireless, but this comes to my first con of the product. Now I personally am a fan with wireless earphones to be pretty much completely wireless simply because even though you are you know not connected to your smartphone and you have the advantage of that they are still quite cumbersome and for me defeats the object a little bit having this wired cable that you obviously have to have around your neck. Not horrific but not the best. And also another slight negative is that again for this style the cable is remarkably quite long and cumbersome. It's not ideal. Don't worry, there are lots of good things about this product as well. I'm just getting a few of the negatives out of the way first. So one other negative is the fact that because they are so cumbersome in terms of the size of cable, fitting them into the pouch, which is a, a really nice pouch made of a rubber consistency, which is flexible, obviously, and you can, a bit like Pac-Man. I'm sorry, I don't really know what that was, to be honest. You are, of course, meant to place them inside, but it's just a bit of a, a tight squeeze, if I'm being honest. I think it could be easier. There are ways of doing it by folding it in a better way, for example. And you do get it in, and there is a magnet that attaches these two lips together, but it could be better. Of course, the advantage of having a cable is if you're doing sport, running, for example, you can run, this is running, by the way, in case you didn't, you can run, and you don't have any worry about them falling out and you losing them on the path or field because the cable will catch on your neck. Also, another negative about having just the, the pods that go in your ears is if you're a bit of a loser like me, then not, not, lo not loser as in, uh, I'm not a loser. I am definitely a loser. <laughs> if you lose things all the time, I can often have a problem of, I can put them down and then I find one and I can't find the other one. You don't have that problem. You know where they're gonna be all the time because of the cable connecting. Jobs are good and what is that? I'm gonna jump onto some of the positives. And one of them is, of course, the magnets on the end of the earbuds, which clip together, very efficient, works every time. And the good thing about this magnet clip is that as soon as they close, the music shuts off. The Bluetooth stops working, so you're not wasting battery. And then, of course, as soon as you open it again, it reconnects to your smartphone and you're good to go. And your music can start again. For me, that feature's been a little bit underplayed and I actually think it's a very good one. You've got your volume rocker up and down on here. And in terms of connecting up to your phone, dead easy to do, the little button here that you press and hold and it starts the Bluetooth process. And then you just have to go into your Bluetooth settings on your smartphone. You'll see Bullets Wireless or OnePlus Bullets Wireless, can't quite remember. And then you simply just pair like that. Now in terms of battery life, it says on the website eight hours. In my experience, it's not quite that much. I'm getting more like six, seven hours, which is still okay 
okay. It's not terrible by any means. I would, like with any of the wireless headphones, I would prefer a bigger battery because that is one of the main downsides of not being able to use a wired headphone is the fact that when you're going on a long journey, having to keep charging them stops you listening to it. Hopefully in the future, we will of course see far bigger batteries or just more efficient battery use or battery optimization on Bluetooth smartphone. Bluetooth smartphones? That's not, no. Bluetooth headphones, don't know what this is, just casual. And that would make the transition between wired and wireless far easier for a lot of people. Now, while the actual battery life could be better, what is a great thing about Bullets Wireless, similar again to the OnePlus smartphones, is charge time. You can get five hours of audio time in just 10 minutes. That is by far one of its best features. The Type-C charge just in that part there, that little port, it works a dream. And for me, that's a big plus again if you're traveling. You just have to not listen to music on your travel for 10 minutes and then you've got another five hours. Yeah, good job OnePlus. Also, as we're on travel, in terms of comfort, these are great for two to three hours. Any more than that, again, it might just be my ears. It might just be that I need to try some of the other buds in here, which might fit my ears a little bit better, but they definitely start to ache a little bit, but that's fairly normal for me. There are only two or three earphones that I've tried that actually I can use for five, six, seven, eight, nine hours. Of course, as soon as you take these out, if you leave them out for 10 minutes or so, maybe when you're charging them, when I put them back in, they feel fine again. So just giving your ears a breather. Don't know why I'm doing that. Come on. Now, of course, one of the most important things about earphones or headphones is sound quality. And for me, recommending them, the whole idea of specific types of people really comes into effect because I feel personally, if you're looking for a noise cancelling pair of headphones or earphones for planes, trains, etc., they're not the best. Not the OnePlus actually market them to be great for noise cancellation. It's just something I feel you should know. If you are desperate for something like that, I wouldn't go with these. You can hear quite a lot of background noise. Now, the actual sound is very balanced. I don't feel it necessarily excels in, in every area, but as a general all-round pair of headphones for the average consumer, I think they work very well. They're not quite as punchy, for example, in the bass department. And again, similarly, whilst the mids and highs are pretty crisp and clear, not the best sound I've heard, but as an overall sound, they have done a very good job. So if noise cancellation isn't a massive thing for you, I can strongly recommend them as an all round product. These are one of the best I've tried for the average consumer. And now we've got to talk about price. Now they are available for 69 UK pounds. I think it's pretty similar in US dollars, for example. And I think in India, it's around 3,900. I believe in Indian rupees, 3,990. Don't quote me on that, but a quick Google search has told me that. So not the cheapest. There are headphones and earphones that you can get for 10, 15, 20 quid. But for the quality of these, I think that is a pretty reasonable price. I don't think that's overpriced by any means. I think that's roughly where I feel they should be. Now we are led to believe that OnePlus have some other wireless Bluetooth earphones in the pipeline. We don't have any information really about launch, release dates, etc. But I think in terms of the time cycle. I would imagine with the release of the OnePlus 7 around May, June time, although it is 5G season, so there is probably a OnePlus phone coming before the OnePlus 7 to do with 5G, but I think we may see the second edition of the Bullets Wireless coming around that sort of time. So in terms of the initial question, do I think that the Bullets Wireless originals are still worth £69? eight months after release. I would have to say, while I'm incredibly excited about what OnePlus are going to be doing with the second edition, if they release one, I still think currently right now, these are a very good product for around that sort of price. And if the wire that goes around the back of your neck doesn't bother you, or you like it for the reasons why I mentioned earlier, and noise cancellation isn't a massive thing for you, then I can 100% recommend this product. So here's where you guys come in. Let me know what you think of the Bullets Wireless. Are they a product you're interested in? Are you gonna go and buy them? Do you have them already pros and cons what do you like what do you not like let me know in the comment section below as always i'd love to hear your thoughts subscribe and hit the notification bell if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time i post a video on anything tech pretty much daily content here on youtube i'll love you and leave you i'll see you in the next one let's do a tp south